Welcome to another daily dose of insights powered by Container Exchange. My name is Christian, and every other day we bring to you the key news, stories, and data points that move container markets and hence your business. You've all read about it, you've all heard about it, the banking crisis in the US, um, prominently featuring the Silicon Valley Bank from Santa Clara, California, and the Signature Bank in the state of New York, uh, both facing uh, a sort of a bank run and a liquidity crunch, and hence being put under administration by the um, Federal Reserve. Um, this now has impact on the uh, bond market in the US, where liquidity is evaporating and bid-ask spreads for uh, Treasury bonds um, are widening uh, to a level that we haven't seen in the last uh, six months. This is a sign, a strong sign, for uncertainty um, uh, about the uh, Fed's uh, continuing path of rate hikes. Will the Fed continue uh, to increase interest rates to combat inflation? Or is there now a reason to uh, stop or uh, de-accelerate de um, this path and um, potentially even decrease rates um, for the moment to ease pressure on financial institutions who are invested in uh, long-term bonds and um, yeah, potentially face a liquidity crunch on the deposit um, or uh, lending side. Um, this, of course, also has impacts um, going forward on the inflation and GDP outlook, so stay tuned for more information here. Um, apart from that, a very interesting article that I read this morning um, about uh, Drury. Drury held a webinar about um, port uh, throughputs and trends um, uh, the other day. Um, very, very interesting. We now see indicators of the yeah, uh, shift towards a more resilient um, value chain, uh, a more diversified uh, logistics value chain um, globally with less reliance on China. Um, while global port throughput fell um, or continues to fall um, sort of post, post pandemic, and particularly in sort of the strong east west trades, we see pockets of growth um, where port throughput is very, very strong, particularly if you compare that to 2019 numbers. Um, for example, uh, we see Vietnam, we see Mexico um, trending very, very strong and showing very strong signs of port throughput growth. Um, this, of course, puts pressure on governments in Southeast Asia and also uh, Middle America, Latin America to increase capacity to invest heavily into port infrastructure and hinterland infrastructure. And of course, uh, this also represents interesting chances for investment for container traders. So for all of you trading in containers, um, it's time to look uh, uh, sort of above and beyond your own horizon and check out new markets, uh, for example, Southeast Asia. For more information on um, trends, be it liquidity, be it prices um, on container markets, uh, check out containerexchange.com slash insights, um, where we help you with data to make the right decisions. That's it um, from me for today. Um, stay tuned uh, for another episode on Friday morning. Until then, uh, take care and have a good rest of the week. Take care.